everybody so i wanted to make a village tour of my new village here in the frostlands uh, there is actually not much to see yet i just started this village and i want to show you like i tried doing this uh, it was supposed to be an igloo type deal here and i've been working around with this i don't know yet what this is i just wanted it to show it to you because if you have any ideas on what i should do with this build here or how like i'm still getting to learn the slanted build stuff if you have any ideas please leave it in the comments and then i did something that i've never really done before because i wanted to upgrade this village quite fast i made four identical huts with a pre-build and i've never done pre-builds before or i have actually done pre-builds before because you kind of have to do pre-builds also the star wars builds and so on but uh, here's a quick montage of me building it Besides that, we need to get to my other bases for me to show you what's going on here. I need some kind of jump tower from that base here. And like talking about jump towers, Crafty called me out because I made a jump tower that I call the world's largest. And of course, that could be misunderstood as the world's tallest jump tower. It wasn't. He made one that was taller. I actually have already made a city in maximum height. Oh, there is a brute over here. We don't want to ring that brute. But I have already making a city in the maximum height in this game, so I know where the max height limit are. But besides that, I have also this. This is not my big jump tower. This is just what you might call a field jump tower. I need one of those in my snow base too, because I have to run all the way to this jump tower. But this is made so that I can go, go home again. And I need one more at the snow base, so it's faster for me to go home. But let me just show you how a jump tower works. A jump tower is a design that's made it easy to go all the way up and i usually do it with six high but this i calculated that seven is the right one my snow biome city is over here but now i need to get, go home this is this way and i don't oh now you can see it in the uh, distance here i don't use the glider techniques because i've di died too many times swinging my pickaxe and i am in experts mode so i don't want to do the glider swing mostly because i don't I simply haven't nailed it down. I had to do some adjustments to my tower if it could just render in. And now my jump tower is maximum height. Let me get to maximum height. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. See, I'm at 14 up now. 14 times 7 is 105 floors up. So before it was only 7 up, but now it is. I want to show you something. If I jump up now, doink. I reach the ceiling here. I tried making it taller, but I couldn't jump up on the next level because I hit, I hit, I hit the invisible ceiling up here. I don't know if you believe me or not, but that there is an invisible ceiling here. Just to show you what I mean, I can build stairs up here and then you can see when I get to it, what? I cannot go further than this. This is the sky limit. So now Crafty's abomination of a tower is not even higher than mine anymore. Mine is both the prettiest and the tallest. There's a long way down to my village now. I need to show you the updates that I made to my small town here. I put in some lights. This is a purple light. It's super cool. And since the last time, so this is like my crafting bench. I moved everything up. I had every, uh, like a lot of things down here. I keep my OG crafting bench down here. Now I made this shack for uh, making wood. So I could actually put some of the things back here because I went up to upgrade my village. Uh, and this is where it goes. My lumber mills, I'm 
decorated out here with the what do you call it the seat seating arrangement in the for the restaurant where i get food and this is my food chest this is my restaurant and in here are my restaurant workers dana go away no one likes you and uh, we have rustler and we have a lot of um also Peely, we have a lot of western themes so i made, made this small house here it's a what I call sew sewing hut where all the these kind of things are and um yeah i need to get more of these because i need more of the jump pads out in out and about and i made this small i actually had my stone cutter over here before but now i made this one instead because i wanted it to be closer to everything else and i have my uh, stone in here i can just put it oh this is not the right chest for this the green one in the middle and this one out here and put this here like this and then i have this seating arrangement over here and build these over here as well i can just say so this is like the barn still and i put and i got these to put in here um the composting machines which are supposed to be filled up all the way over here um oh i can just finish this up i don't have any more granite so I put my gem cutter over here because this is the one like I use the least and down here I have two villager like uh, huts that's identical from each side still not have a bed in them but I just it only recently made it and then I have this house here it's kind of fun like a sunken house like sunken into this where I have my grain uh, mill down here I have more plots because I realize I need more snowberries than I currently have. So I am building more snowberry plots down here. I still need to put something in the middle here. I need some sort of mini jump tower so I can get over to my, oh, it's so big, my mega monument over here. It always seems like, do I miss like a part here? Sometimes when I look up at it, it looks like it's not done. The great thing about this wood shack here is that I can actually uh, reach the wood on each side of it. Oh, I actually have something I need to make. The worst thing is uh, about building this even taller is I kind of like the view more at 50 floor than 105 floors. But now when I jump to my other jump tower out there, I land on the top of the jump tower, which is super cool. And which is why I actually spent the extra time building this even taller. This was it for today, guys. Now, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of video, consider subscribing. Otherwise, watch my next LEGO Fortnite video here on screen right now. Just click the video here. Bye.